Thank you for the presentation. Uh, unfortunately, the cam uh, can't reveal the uh, blushness, uh, blush on my cheeks. And after the exquisite uh, Italian uh, presentation and St. Petersburg meditation, as a Moscovite, Moscovite, I'd like to talk about metastatic cancer. How to treat this? How relevant this? If we look at the USA statistic, uh, since 2013, BRAF test. Uh, the test number has increased up to 60%. It's a very important marker that is to be tested. Apart from this, we should understand how frequently it can be seen if we look at uh, the uh, Western countries, USA, the South America, the incidence rate of mutation approximately 8 10%. But when? Uh, in uh, the comprehensive uh, and testing on 8,000 patients in the, round, in the Russian Federation, we found out uh, that BRAF mutation incidence is only 5%. We still start thinking about this. I wondered about the localization of the primary tumor. If we look at the American data, yes, we first <clears throat> uh, 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 locus is the right hand uh, uh, colon rector. But uh, uh, now we have a very different situation. After the right side tumors, uh, the second um, 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 uh, place is taken by the <coughs> rectum. If we take Chinese data, then again we will see that uh, in the colorectal uh, cancer, uh, RAF is not that uh, often, uh, not is not that common, but uh, the, the most often it is rectum that is uh, involved. And so our country is closer to the Asiatic countries in this respect, but it's four to five percent. What is the prognosis? If we look at the first stage, and you can see the um, mutations um, are negative for the uh, first, uh, even at the first stage, but for RAF, only three had um, uh, BRAF uh, during the first stage. But if we look at the second one, BRAF mutation there um, is associated with positive prognosis. We can see that none of the patients uh, here died. Um, uh, uh, but if we look at other papers, if we look at the um, uh, uh, patients and the groups of patients, we'll see that BRF mutation uh, is met with um, MSI um, uh, high, then sometimes it's negative. Why? Because the patients there are not only with the second stage, but also with the third stage. If we look separately at the second stage, we find a different picture. Uh, the significantly uh, negative aspects during the third stage are all there. And there is the overall worsening of survival if there are BRF mutations, uh, no matter right side or left side. But if we take the fourth stage, then of course it's, uh, the uh, prognosis is very bad. If we look at the academic centers, the median of survival is just 11, survival uh, median is just 11 months. If we look at the population data for, 19, for 2019 in the United States, then uh, the uh, survival um, rate was just six months. So we can see that this tumor is very aggressive. When there are metastases, then we can see that the localization varies. Um, uh, the uh, uh, peritoneum, uh, the, the head, the brain mutations, uh, um, uh, uh, that's something we come across. Sometimes when you come at metastasis there, think about the bearer of um, cancer. And this prognostical and favorable group, we can uh, still uh, see a group of patients who live long, and uh, a different group of patients who live a very short life, and not only the functional status, but the and the uh, spread of the um, tumor uh, play a significant role. The smokers have a better prognosis, surprisingly, if it's liver or lung. Then, of course, uh, the the prognosis is worse. 
Uh, so surprisingly, if the same is true for uh, peritoneum. There is a Spanish paper just on two clinical factors for the start of the disease, made it possible to divide the patients with BRF mutation into three groups. A good prognosis where the median of uh, survival was not even reached, and the uh, different uh, uh, di- uh, good ECOC. If, this, if there are two negative factors, then of course the median um, is just six months. If there is one factor, uh, then um, it's into Needed. So these simple clinical factors make it possible for us to assume what the prognosis is going to be, even if there is BRF mutation. So the first clinical observation uh, that uh, will make it possible for us to understand how to treat uh, um, uh, the, uh, this particular uh, young patient, 49 years, uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, I can see that all the, the BRF is there, nothing specific there. Select the correct choice, the correct option. What is the regimen to be selected? Um, uh, Torpyrimidines and mono um, regimen for Fox, Fold Fury, Fold Fox, uh, and so on and so forth. Vote. I'll see the results. Will you comment that? Because we can see uh, that the, 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 the audience cannot see the results of the voting. We are ahead of the audience, and uh, mostly the, the moderators are voting at the moment. Now, now the audience can see us. Let's wait. No, we are voting, so yes, the voting continues. So, um, um, full folks, full city plus Bivet's uh, Zumab, uh, that's 50%. And uh, uh, could we have the results of voting? All right, so, so 60% of uh, the audience uh, stand for full fox full city plus uh, that's exactly what I needed that's exactly what I needed now indeed if um, we demonstrate this uh, sign that's uh, going to so a recommendation, we can see that no matter what the goal is, the triplet is recommended. Anti-GFR is not mentioned here. Why is that so? If we look of anti-GFR, then here is the example of one of the latest uh, randomized trial. Chemotherapy and cetuximab are compared. Well, Folfox against Folfox plus cetuximab. Now, with the BRF uh, mutation, Folfox um, is the best function, better than Folfox with uh, cetuximab, which is logical. If we carried out the meta-analysis in uh, 2016, we were able to see that uh, uh, GFR plus two doublets um, has not um, given uh, any positive results from the point of view of the survival rate. So thus, in 2016, we introduced a recommendation. The RAF should be considered in order to um, 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 avoid mutations. And uh, uh, last year, NCSN and all the other um, uh, associations started looking at uh, um, uh, EGFR uh, um, uh, uh, at, um, as, a, as a negative factor and a predictor. But we have a subgroup of patients without mutation. Well, anyway, mutation uh, BRF, but uh, the classical like melanoma or the uh, bowels and uh, Maxim spoke about their example that they had six patients who had non tip Typical uh, localization of mutations. When we look at the survival of these patients, it's similar to those who um, uh, uh, do not have those mutations. That's uh, the first line of treatment. Now, these mutations BRF, can be divided into several classes. So, the first one is uh, um, V600E, but there are mutations of the third class with low kinase activity. So, the, this molecular BRF molecular uh, has the same function. So, the, uh, during the second class is uh, kinase activity changes and anti-GFR is better not to be administered. How can we treat them? Folksirin white. There's a folfoxiri, so I needed this particular answer from you. If we take folfoxiri, 
um, um, uh, following the uh, Italian uh, revival, then the median of uh, survival is increased from 5 to 7.5 months. Here you can see these green lines. And uh, indeed, these uh, led to certain recommendations. But last year, there appeared other studies, Italian studies. Again, they carried out um, uh, their um, study and uh, as a control, there was uh, uh, there, there, there were ordinary uh, doublets of all fox uh, 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 map. and the analysis shows this is this is uh, uh, um, uh, demonstrates that full fox theory doesn't work in this case. Full fox and full theory with bevisum sezunab uh, give the same risks of death as full theory with beva and uh, um, uh, whether it is the second or the second line, maybe antigeofer is needed rather than bevisumab. So we can spread uh, full fox theory that with the um, lesions in liver. Uh, yes, it works well. Uh, the frequency of response uh, is uh, higher. And uh, the, the, the frequency of jet responses went to 72%. But this did not improve the survival rate without progression. So if we take Fulfoxeria and Fulfoxeria with uh, to sub and exclude the BRF mutation patients, then they get better survival um, uh, rates. Uh, so it's a... Uh, Yes, so the, 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 this uh, question is uh, still there in place. We'll look at our own data, collecting it from the centers in Russian Federation. About 100 patients with BRF mutation, classical mutation, and here is what we were able to see. The treatment is different from uh, torpyrimidine um, uh, up to other ways, and we can see that uh, the survival without progression is six months, the same as uh, in the trial we have discussed already. So uh, there was something quite strange. Fulfoxiri is not the best regimen. Fulfoxiri does not improve the results of the treatment of patients as compared to duplets. Uh, um, and the worst option is for those who had the monotherapy with been But, well, this is something that should not be done. Let's look at all the studies, at all the trials, and compare Fulfoxiri, target therapy, and duplets. Uh, and uh, uh, well, you we do have information about the survival. So, has it changed? We wonder. Uh, uh, and uh, what are the results of this meta-analysis? There is no difference, uh, significant difference in survival without progression. We can observe uh, theory with a doublet therapy and doublets of uh, and Folfox with target therapy. And so, uh, so. Um, um, uh, this is associated with the results of the meta-analysis uh, based on the individual data, published just a few weeks ago at ASCO 2020. Uh, five uh, uh, trials and uh, Folfoxiri uh, Bev uh, up, and uh, they were proved that Folfoxiri Bev improves the survival rate for the group of patients, improves the frequency of um, um, objective responses, and uh, uh, it's as possible to uh, carry out resection. And, but look at this meta-analysis with BRF mutation. Uh, there is no, no no difference as compared to Polfixeribev and others. And so no matter where the uh, tumor is localized, uh, whether it is left or right, high, right side um, tumor. And so does it mean that uh, um, uh, with Polfixeribev, rough mutation is not needed? So at least we know that clinical um, trials are needed in order to understand the optimal um, scheme of treatment. Yes, another clinical observation is somewhat easier. 62-year-old person without any concomitant problems, uh, and um, so that's uh, um, uh, the uh, second so progress. But there are metastases in liver, resectable, without any clinical um, uh, uh, clinical significant deviations. So the problem: should we? Um, uh, uh, reject them or the metastasis in liver or not? What What is your opinion? Considering the chemotherapy has gone, oh, uh, we, we know that the progression is, uh, prognosis is bad. No, we need a few minutes. So, uh, just a, a few words over the next minute. Yes, of course, yes. So, 
Indeed, F. Howe Telencolic has just said, if we, uh, if the the uh, these, um, it's easy to reject them, then uh, reject them, and then carry out the juvent treatment if there are high um, oncological risks. Then chemotherapy first, uh, but uh, survival is just six months. If we take the population data, what do we do with that? That's a big problem, indeed. Uh, if, uh, yes, there are results. Uh, so, uh, I was against resection, uh, but that's just 12 percent. Most of the participants uh, stand for resection, 87 uh, percent plus. Now, who was right? You. No, I do not know. Let's try to understand. So, when uh, we carried out the systematic survey rather than the meta-analysis on the uh, impact of the phenotype on the results and on resection, the rough mutated uh, cancer, that's very negative uh, prognosis with colorectal cancer. Yes, we know that this is a very bad prognosis for the whole population. And in 2015, there appeared um, an article dedicated to um, uh, lung metastasis. Uh, and this lower curve um, is very low indeed. Uh, uh, really uh, uh, indicates, indicates uh, that uh, uh, these um, uh, lesions should be uh, uh, resected. But last year, the changes occurred. I suppose some data has been accumulated and some papers studied whether the uh, metastasis should be located if uh, those uh, lesions are in liver. If you operate on these patients, then the survival without any signs of disease in similar to those uh, patients who do not have mutation BRF. But if there is a progression, then of course the um, prognosis is negative, but should have been doing that at all if we operate uh, different groups of patients. And this study was published with ASCO. Um, and we can see that the surgery on the uh, lesions uh, uh, in um, uh, liver increases uh, the median of survival um, uh, several times. And uh, again, the Spanish paper speaks about the uh, aggressiveness of uh, uh, the uh, tumors. And this might uh, prompt you which particular patients to um, um, sign for surgery and which should be treated in other ways. Uh, and peritonic, peritonic tamir, uh, that is affected uh, in case of BRAF mutation, it's uh, the worst prognosis, uh, typical, uh, typical of, of uh, uh, metastatic cancer. But we see that there are patients with a long survival rate, 22, 42 months uh, after peritonectomy. Uh, with BRAF mutation, we should select patients in terms of the clinical factor, um, the cause of the disease, previous response, patients, uh, male patients, 72 years of age, ECOG-1, uh, uh, sigma, descending part of the column, unresectable metastasis in the liver and lungs, uh, RAS, BRAF, MSI, high four causes of Xelox plus BEVA chemotherapy. What to do with this? Maybe immunotherapy because MSI high or BRAF mutation is uh, the second line, BRAF plus anti GFF or um, BRAF inhibitors anti GFR. What to do? You have heard the first line. We are on air. There are different options. Fall free with any anti antigenic medication taken into account, toxicity profile, MSI high, monotherapy, anti PD1 or plus BRAF inhibitors, mono. Even old patients, ECOG-1, 
a patient uh, progressed on Xelox, maybe we shouldn't combine this with other inhibitors, anti-GFR. Uh, it's uh, uh, NCCN recommendations that help you to uh, choose uh, the best option of treatment. We will stop voting. Please, let's look at voting. You will give in so rich opportunities for choice. But you should follow your intuition. Listen to your heart. I can't say. I, I will say about voting. BMR of with Texima, Pirina Tecan 17, BRAP inhibitors, Mona 3%, anti PDL, anti PD1, and uh, 11.44, anti PD1, Mona 8.6, Fulfiri, Ramuzerumab 20, Fulfiri, Aplibercep 11, Fulfiri, Beva 28. The choice is very extensive. Maybe I have confused the audience <laughs> because it's like in a shop. Uh, what we have in the second line? Duplets, Iritecon, anti GFR, anti G anti VGFR, anti GFR don't work. We have full theory. Plus, plus Ramitzizumab, Alprobertsek. In 2017, when the uh, finding was found, specific for BRAF, in the second time, it increases uh, survival rate double from 5 to 10 months overall survival. Two years. For two years, uh, the, it was a monopoly, and Alfibersep worked. But uh, last year, sub uh, trial was published, and we see the similar situation with overall survival from four to nine months. Anti-angiogenic therapy does work in uh, the second therapy. If MSI high and you have the opportunity to immunotherapy, you can do uh, uh, full theory. And then if you have, uh, if it's available, you may change to BRAF inhibitors. If you look at the melanoma, unfortunately, the time is very tight. BRAF mutation monotherapy. Uh, only percent erythinib, zero percent BRAF inhibitors, only one response. Uh, we can block uh, MEC and GFR, but advantage is very low from two to six months overall survival, so progression free survival. Uh, there were different combinations with BRAF inhibitors. Combination Vivarapinib plus Conginifinib, 20%. And our Italian colleague Beacon, uh, the second uh, trial, second line, what's better, the second target therapy or triple BRAF, MEC, and anti -GIF? This sub-analysis. Uh, if the tumor is growing fast, a great number of organs involved, uh, it's better to use a triple combination. But if you be rough and MSI high, it's a clinical case. Uh, the double combination uh, is better. In our clinical case, it's better to do this.